Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of Music in Pajamas. Now remember last week, we trained our ears to hear high, low, and in the middle. This week, we are gonna train our ears to hear the same, a step, a skip, or a jump. <laughs> so get ready, I'll be back. Hey y'all, and I'm glad to see y'all back in the music classroom today. Today we're gonna work on our ear training. Remember last week I told you about musictheory.net and we talked about hearing the difference between high sound and low sound. So this is kind of the same activity, but it's a little bit different. So you go to musictheory.net Click on exercises. That's where we're going to start today. Then scroll down to, we're going to do keyboard. No, 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 no. That's not what we're going to do. Hold on. Scroll down to ear training. And we're going to do interval ear training. That's where we want to start. That's an easy place to start, you know, just so you can start practicing your ear training. So I've already set the settings. I've already changed the settings. I'm going to move my things over here, my picture, so that here you go to the settings click intervals now there's a whole bunch of intervals here but for to, for today just to start i only want to start with listening to four different intervals we will do unison that means the same it sounds the same bomb bomb same note major second that sounds like a step up bomb bomb so a step up then perfect four. This would be a jump. Bum, bum, like here comes the bride. So perfect four. Then the octave. Oh man. Anyway, the last one is the octave. So those are the only ones you want to check. And the octave is just a big jump. Bum, bum. So those are the only four we want. We want to do unison, the same. Then we want to do a step, next door, next door, a step. Then we want to do a skip, the perfect four. Then we'll do a jump, which is the octave. So those are the only four we want. And then you just play it. Mm -hmm. Hi, low. Listen to it again if you have to. I'm going to say that's an octave. Good. Boom, boom. Does that sound like here comes the bride? Sound like it to me. I'm going to do perfect fourth. Good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to it again. Mm -hmm. Perfect fourth. Mm -hmm. Wait, I might be, hold on, I'm jumping, and it's a skip. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's a skip. They keep doing skips. I need y'all to do something else. There we go. Doom, doom. Major second. Major second. Wait, hold on. Boom, boom. I don't know. It sounds like an octave. Uh, 
I got it wrong. Oh, no. It was a perfect fourth. See, so that's what you need to do. Practice using it at home. And you it goes by quick. You can do 20 of them before you even know it. So just practice using that and it'll help you train your ear. All right, y'all. Now, here we go. We're going to take a little test. When you hear the same note that sounds the same, that's called unison. And what we do there, we just step in place whenever we hear unison notes. Let's see if we can hear it. Mm. Step in place. So now the next note we got to listen for is a major second. So this is just a step. It'll sound like doom, doom. Let's see if we can hear that one. Here we go. Let's see. Take a step. One step. One step. One step. I'm a step backwards. Step. Good job. Here we go. Now, we moving a little bit better. Now, the next note we're listening for is a perfect fourth. Now, this is like the here comes the bright bomb bomb. It'll be a skip. Okay, not, but not a jump. We got to do a skip, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if we can hear it. Skip. Ready? Skip. <laughs> skip. This is an octave jump from high, low to high. Low, high, low, high. So it's going to be an octave. Ready? Here we go. Let's do me time. Here we go. Big jump. Ready? Do it again. Low, high. Okay. Now, Mr. Demi probably ain't going to do all of these moves with you. You're going to have to do some on your own, okay? Here we go. Let's see if you can hear it. Number one. Hmm. What do you think it is? Perfect fourth. You're right. Doom, doom. Here comes the bride. Let's do the next one. What do you think it is? Perfect fourth, you're right. Here comes the bride. Mm. What do you think it is? Doom, doom, high, low, high. Good job, y'all. What do you think it is? You got it right. Perfect for doom, doom. Hmm. Sound like a perfect fourth again. Doom, doom. So you should be skipping. Here we go. That's easy. Unison. Doom. <laughs> Here we go. They keep giving us perfect fours. 
Let's try the next one. So here we go. Doom, doom. You listen. Doom, doom. Now, boys and girls, for the rest of them, Mr. Demi is just going to sit and watch you do it. Okay? Let's see if you can figure it out on your own. So I should see movement all over. I should see jumping or skipping or stepping in place. Ready? Here we go. Come on, let me see you jump or move, whichever one. You got to figure it out. You can do it. Last one. Woo. Well, you ought to be good and tired. I think we're probably going to need a cloud relaxation after this one. <laughs> Now, y'all, don't forget, we only have 20 seconds so we can get somewhere and sit down or lay down. Hurry up, find your spot and lay down or sit down quiet and get ready to calm ourselves down. All right, y'all, now that we have calmed ourselves down, we are ready to go. I hope you all will go to musictheory.net or you can download the app. I think it's a paid app. You pay, you buy the app um, for your Android and I hope you'll just practice training your ear. And they have so many other activities on there to help you learn music. So keep learning over the summer enjoy yourself whatever you do enjoy yourself music is fun and one one uh story that i listen to the it always says music is fundamental because it is your whole life can be changed just with music so you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye y'all